Alright, what's up guys? My name is Will Cashin, aka White Trash Willie, coming at you with a scooter hack today, or I don't even know if it's much of a scooter hack, it's just kind of a grip tape um, design that you can do if you're bored and you have uh, some time on your hands and you want to do something cool with your grip tape, this is a pretty cool thing to do. Judging by the thumbnail, you guys already kind of know what it looks like, but if you don't, I'll show you what my skateboard looks like right now, and that's kind of what the end outcome is and it's where I got the idea to do this originally, so I'm gonna grab that. All right, so I got my original inspiration from this skateboard right here. I did this one, uh, shoot, probably like five or six years ago, um, but if you can see, this is actually each individual like tiles I cut out and I stuck to here, so it's not just like one big sheet of grip tape that I bought, it's actually a whole bunch of little rhombuses that I cut out and are now stuck under the deck. So I'm gonna take this basic idea and apply it to a scooter deck. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I have my three colors of grip tape right here. I have pink, because I think pink, pink would look really nice on this. I have black, black always looks good on scooters. And I have white, because I have white as part of my color theme on my complete scooter. So I have the three colors. I have, and you can see there's three colors on here. And you guys can use any three colors you want. It doesn't really matter. If you guys want to use like an, even a different shape of rhombus, you can use four colors, you can do five colors. Grip tape possibilities are actually just endless. It's all up to you and your creative mind. So without further more to do, we need a blank canvas because this is covered in old grip tape. So I'm gonna remove this grip tape and then we're gonna cut out some grips. So let's go, let's do this. Say goodbye to this grip tape. This is the last time you'll ever see this. It's gone. Something that's kind of cool about tilt grip tape, I used tilt grip tape on this last one, it was like their white and pink one. It doesn't leave like any residue, so that's sick. Believe it or not, when I was working at Scooter Farm, a lot of kids would always ask me when they're buying grip tape, like, oh, does it leave sticky stuff behind? No, tilt grip tape does not. It's time to actually start doing the grip tape. Now, there's a few ways that you can do, like you can actually cut out the grip tape and make it into little rhombuses. There's two ways of doing it. There's a ghetto way, and there's a nice way of doing it. I'm gonna tell you how to do the nice way and then I'm gonna show you how to do the ghetto way. The nice way is you go onto Google Images, you type in cube pattern, just cubes and patterns, because in reality, geometric cubes or 3D cubes, so all you gotta do is just type in cube pattern. And then on your phone or your computer is just gonna be a whole bunch of patterns that pop up that look like cubes. And I'm gonna go down to this green one right here, just cause it's like really high def. And if you, if you guys wanna do this the nice way, go ask your mom, your dad, or one of your guardians, I don't know who you live with, um, and basically ask if you can print this picture out. Since Clayton and I don't have a printer, I'm gonna have to do this the ghetto way, and I'm gonna show you how to do this without printing out anything. So what you wanna do is you basically wanna go click on the picture, if you have an iPhone, click on the picture and save the image. Saved. Now what you want to do, you want to save that as a picture. You want to go into your photos, go into your photos, and it'll be right here. And basically what you want to do is turn, turn your phone sideways so it's a little bit bigger. And as you see, it's a nice picture. So as, if you zoom in, it's not, it's not super pixelated. Now I'm just going to zoom it in all the way. And what you want to do right now is I have this nice sheet of paper Outset Select gave me. I don't know if you can read that. It says, enjoy Outset. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on here, like on my phone, basically. And essentially, without touching the phone as least you can, get a pencil and essentially just like draw out the rhombus that's on, that's on the phone, onto a piece of paper. Bam, I got my rhombus right here. And basically what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go and cut it out. And then after that, I have this nice piece. It's kind of like cardboard, except a little bit thicker. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the rhombus from the piece of paper, slap it on here, trace on here, and that way you have a nice little textile to trace your patterns with on the back of the grip tape. I'm gonna get all this stuff cut out and I'll show you once I get it cut out and what you should do. So. All right, so I got my rhombuses cut out right now. I got my paper one right here that I cut out of the sheet of paper. Then I have my cardboard one, I cut out of cardboard. And then I cut one out of grip tape just for the heck of it. I tried it out in the corner. 
So essentially now what we gotta do is once you get your uh, rhombus that you cut out of cardboard and make sure you can get this as good as you can. Like really make the lines straight, make the angles how they are and that, that's like the main key to making this. But essentially what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start drawing on the back of the grip tape and start cutting out some tiles. So what you wanna do is I'll show you on the pink grip tape what to do. I'll show you on the white grip tape actually because it's a completely white back and it'll make it a little bit easier. All right, so I found that when you do it, it's easiest to start up in the corner just because you're using like very straight lines and you're not just gonna start down here and then the more and more you do, you'll end up with weird ones along the edges. I like to just start on the edge just because I find it to be the easiest. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the, the, the flat edge of it to the flat edge of the uh, end of the grip tape and I'm gonna get my pencil and I'm basically gonna draw out and trace out basically a rhombus right here and try to get the lines as straight as you can on here. A very important thing about doing this grip tape design is because you're using geometric shapes, angles and straight lines really matter. It's not like you're hydro dipping or something where it, it, it can be random. This is like a very, like very exact thing. So you wanna pay attention to the straight lines, you wanna pay attention to the right angles. You don't wanna make it too sloppy because if you make it sloppy, it'll just look tacky. What I do is once I get my first rhombus drawn out, what you can essentially do is you can just put the rhombus right below it and continue the line down. So you can just continue with your straight lines until you have a ton of them. I'll show you when I have a ton of them. Rhombuses are cut. Got my deck right here. Um, so I'm not really gonna do uh, the full design going up and down. I'm gonna do most of the deck having the design, but it's gonna be really hard to stick these little textile pieces right here and cut it around and it's just, it's just gonna be a pain. I've, I've done this before and I'm just telling you it's a pain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a sheet of white grip tape and basically put it and cover this entire front of the deck so that way a line will go through like right, right about here. And then I'm gonna start sticking these rhombuses on and I'll show you from there. So get my white grip tape, that's right here. As you can see, I cut it out a little bit um, from cutting out shapes. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where I want to cut out my grip tape. I'm thinking right here is a good idea. I'm just gonna use this little bit right here. Get off this side real quack. I'm gonna be precise. Cutting out nice Arizona. Bam. Next, I'm gonna stick this over and cut it out and do it. So right now, I'm putting on the grip tape in the front of the deck. Then from there, I'm basically gonna start the design going down from here, but I'm making it angled just because I think it'll look more unique. When you're doing this, you probably want a sharp razor blade. I don't, I have a very dull one. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of hacking. So I always like full deck grip tape. I think if you cut your deck, cut your grip tape right there and have like your front dropouts exposed, I think it looks kind of ugly. So I always full grip tape all my decks. All right, so when you're cutting out full deck grip tape, basically what I've found to be the easiest way to cut it out is to basically do what I just did and put your grip tape on the deck first and then lay it up against the neck. Then from there, cut out each sides of the neck right here. On the district deck, you're gonna cut into these little like fin things right here. Um, and also on the district deck, if you look, there's this little like hidden square area. So I always like to cut that one out too. Now, essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically uh, score out everywhere that I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna do this with some scissors right now. This is a lot easier on like black grip tape because you can see what you're doing because it shows up white. When you're using white grip tape, it also shows up white. So it can be kind of hard to do. All right, so I got my nice little front piece of grip tape on. It's nice and white. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting on the textiles. I'm gonna look at my skateboard really quick for reference because I don't want to mess this up. So I'm gonna start by putting on the first couple pieces. Um, if you're just doing this on a full deck and you're not starting from like a, an, an edge, you can basically just start putting them down wherever you want and start putting them into little triangular shapes. Um, but in my case, I'm starting from a flat surface, so I'm gonna show you what to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down my first piece of tiling. 
Now I'm not gonna put it like right on the edge because I think it would look kind of tacky if all of the edges just ended on one side and it like was obviously cut off weird on the other side. So I'm gonna put it a little bit off-centered like that. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is essentially put on the black one. And if you see, the white one will just fit in here nice and perfect. And when you're doing this, since you cut these out by hand, they're not always gonna fit super, super perfect. So if you have a little bit of a gap here and there, it's not the end of the world. The, while you ride your grip tape, it's gonna like stretch a little bit. It's gonna like kind of fill in the gaps. When I first did my skateboard, it was so many gaps on it, but now there's only like a few apparent ones and you don't even notice. Most people think it's a sheet. So if you have little gaps in, in between the tiles, it's not the end of the world. It, it's bound to happen. Imperfections are bound to happen. So got that nice little white one on there. And now you're probably thinking to yourself like, but Will, I can't fit one in there. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to cut a triangle in half like this. My nice little half triangle right here. Put this one right in here. Next one, put this guy right here. Awesome possum. We're off to a good start, guys. Um, I'm gonna keep putting on these textiles and it's gonna keep looking more and more sick. Now, I remember one, uh, something when I first started doing this that got kind of confusing at points was d determining which tile to put down where. And basically, the good rule of thumb is to remember which tile which goes where is essentially all of the tiles that are a specific color all point the same way. So like these all point this way. All the black ones point this way. All the white ones, they point this way. So that's like an easy way to remembering which, which way they go so you don't get all confused. So I have my uh, basic outline of how much checkers I want. From about here to here, I wanna make it uh, black, and then from here to the end, I'm gonna make it pink. So essentially what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and cut an angle right through here, so that way I have a nice straight line to put the bitch grip on, and then obviously the other grip tape. So I'm gonna do that right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my straight line, which in my case is a corner of a notebook, and I'm going to put it right here, get my razor blade, and give it a nice chop. Bam! Just like that. And well, bam So there's that, and... I'm gonna cut out this grip tape really quick so I don't have to worry about it when I'm cutting out the other grip tape. So what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm basically just gonna fold my knife up and get a nice edge and kind of just try not to rip up any grip tape when you're doing this because that would suck. Be cautious when you're cutting it that a lot of these grip tape tiles are, they wanna come loose, so don't let them come loose. So, so we got the group, we got the deck right here. It's basically completed. I got it all of it cut out, all of it nicely done. So if you can see, it's white. Then it goes this checker combination, and black, then pink at the bottom. I think it looks really, really sick. All in all, I'm really, really stoked on how it came out. If you guys want to see more grip tape hacks or other sort of things, or if you guys have a grip tape hack that you guys want me to do. Um, just comment down below and I'll attempt it. I'll, I'll try it. We have some really cool scooter hacks coming up in the near future for some of your parts that you might have at home. So I'm not going to say what it is, but we have something really, really, really cool coming up and I just can't wait to show it to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, then buy our merch. Yo, we have the merch. Lee's under arrest. I got him. I'm beating him up on camera. Guys, link in bio. Get these cool gray shirts. Ugh. We got black shirts that come in packages. We have these little airplane hats. These could, these might be coming out soon. If you guys want them, to common airplane hat.
We have one more corduroy. We have two. Two more corduroys two left. More. Ricky has two more corduroys left also, so DM him as much as you can. <laughs> Spam his DMs. 702 Dialed Rider, phone number right here. We have one more XL gray bleached lit shirt, so make sure you get the... Do the, the shirt. Like, literally, it matches so well. I, I can't even see the shirt. Where was it? Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more crazy episodes of savage content coming to theaters near you, at your home, on Undialed's YouTube channel. So, peace out guys. It's been lit.